Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today we have seven new dinosaurs to unbox, okay? Um, or rather unwrap. So let's get started. First one right here. Let's take a look. It looks like a um, theropod. It looks like a Tabosaurus. So let's take a look and find an opening on this packaging. Okay. It's actually not enclosed. So let's take a look at this. Wow, looks awesome. It looks like a green Tabosaurus. But let's take a look at the name right below. Let's find out whether there is actually a name. Hmm. I can't seem to find the name of this dinosaur, but do you guys know what breed or species this is? To me, it looks like a Tabusaurus, or could this be a Giganotosaurus? I'm not too sure, there's no articulation on this figure. It looks awesome! Plenty of details, as you guys can see, you can see every individual scale. Even the eyes are nicely painted. That's really, really, really nice. Alright, you can feel some spiky thorns on its body, all the way from the top of the neck to the end of the tail. Alright, I'm gonna call this a um, ferocious theropod. So if you guys know, do let me know down below, I mean not below, cause YouTube has actually disabled our commands function. You can actually go on to Instagram to tell me what this dinosaur is, okay? Let's take a look at our next figure. Okay, this is definitely a T-Rex, right? It looks awesome. This T-Rex is looking really, really good. So let's open this up. A little opening right here. So let's open this up and have a look at this new T Rex from Mojo. Yep, let's take a look. Wow, it looks awesome! Can you guys see the ridges right here? There is a slight protrusion of the ridge, and you can see a very nice groove along the snout. That's really really nice. And this jaw, or rather mouth, can be open and closed. That's really really good. Wow, let's take a look at the huge mouth of this T-Rex and sharp teeth. Alright, you can close this jaw. Um, similarly, it has very very nicely detailed skin texture. You can even see the huge thighs of the T-Rex really really strong legs which enables it to run at very fast speed okay so this is actually a t-rex so the name is actually written right below t-rex so over here you can't see it very clearly but you know we all know this is a t-rex t-rex has two fingers huge jaw and powerful um bite force let's take another look at this figure you know, let's try to find a name. Mm, yeah, yeah, I can't find it. Yeah, it, it is really not written here. All right, Mojo 2020 designed in the UK. Mm, yep, I can confirm there is no name of uh, the dinosaur written. At the bottom, let's check out the packaging. Nope, it is not written on the packaging as well. But that's fine. I feel that could be a Giganotosaurus. It should be a Giganotosaurus because it has three fingers. I I'm not too sure. You know, it's really, really hard to tell. Alright, next up, let's take a look at another figure. What about this? This looks like a Baryonyx. So let's open this up. Let's get it up from its packaging. Looks brilliant! Wow, bright yellowish, orange. This is a really, really nice, nicely colored dinosaur figure. 
It doesn't have an articulated jaw, as you guys can see, it can't be closed. But let's take a look at the face. Beautiful! As you guys can see, the eyes are actually slightly shiny and it is painted with glossy paint to give it a very very wet look. Alright, let's take a look at the name. If it is written below, um, nope, it is not written below, but I can confirm this should be a Baryonyx and the Baryonyx is known as the Heavy Claw. Yep, this looks really, really nice. Okay, I love it. As you guys can see, this figure, it's pretty big. And even the toe claws are nicely painted. And if you guys take a look, this feet or this claws, they look like the claws of a bird. Yep, especially that of an ostrich. Have you guys ever seen an ostrich in the zoo? If you take a close look at the feet or the claws, they look like those of a dinosaur. Okay, let's pick another figure. Alright, this one, it's much smaller. Let's open this up. This looks like a Ceratopsian. And what's a Ceratopsian? Ceratopsians, are you guys able to give me different examples of Ceratopsians? You have like the Triceratops, you have the Diablo Ceratops, you have the Styracosaurus, and this one right here. It's definitely a tricerat. Oh, it doesn't really look like a triceratops. Or does it? Yeah, it should be a triceratops. Try meaning three, three different horns. One, two, three horns right in front of the face. Or could this be a pentaceratops? No, it's not a pentaceratops. So this is a much smaller figure. All right, beautifully. Crafted as usual, you can see the frill right here. It's a pretty nice figure, but I would love it to be bigger, like the theropods right up behind. So far, I love the T-Rex the most. What about you guys? I'm pretty sure most of you will go with the T-Rex. So let's pick another figure. This is another huge figure, and this is a herbivore, a plant-eating dinosaur right here. It looks like an Iguanodon or closely related to the Iguanodon. Let's take a look. It's a Menstruosaurus. Yep. It is actually a um, dinosaur which can be found in China back in the past. Alright. This is a plant-eating dinosaur. If you take a look at it very closely, it resembles a, um, an Iguanodon a lot. Alright, it's a pretty nicely done figure. I love all these little spikes along uh, the body, yeah, from the beginning of the neck all the way to the end of the tail. Really nice. Alright, Menstruosaurus. This is actually, or my two of this actually. So this is my only figure for Menstruosaurus. We have three more figures. Let's take a look at this. This one looks like um, an Ankylosaurus. Let's take a look at this. Let's open this up and have a look. Yep, this one it's an Ankylosaurus. Looks pretty good. Ankylosaurus is known as the fused lizard. Or oh, is this an Ankylosaurus? Let's take a look. Yep, that's right. As you guys can see, this name is written right below, but not for all the figures. Ankylosaurus is known as the fused lizard. You guys know why? Because the bones all the way from the head to the end of the body right here, the bones are all fused together, making it a very, very strong protective covering strong armor for the dinosaur and this club at the end of the tail is made of very very solid bones yep very heavy and solid bones and can be used as a weapon defensive weapon against the predators 
Okay, we have two more little figures. And um, let's take a look. Okay. This figure looks like it is being inspired um, by Jurassic World Blue. Yep, if you take a look at this stripe right here, it looks very similar to the one that Blue has and this is definitely inspired um, from Blue. Yep, so if you take a look at this, you can see the nice sickle shaped claw. That is a trademark of a Velociraptor. And the Velociraptor, you know, they are really really fast dinosaurs which can run at super fast speed. Alright, so that's a Velociraptor for you. We have one last figure in this box and this is definitely not a dinosaur. I mean, rats can be considered as dinosaurs, right? So, let's take a look. This is actually a little um, keychain. That's really nice. And it says, Sing Nian Kuai Le, Happy Chinese New Year 2020 um, in the year of the rat. Let's take a look. It's a golden rat. It's really, really cute. Yeah, that is really, really nice. And this rat is painted in golden, shiny paint. I feel this is like the cutest figure from this lot definitely what about you guys do you guys um like which figure right here do you think is the best and which one is the cutest the best for me is definitely the t-rex let's take a, another close look at this again what a beautiful t-rex i love it and the cutest is either the rat, the golden rat or the velociraptor, but I'm going with the golden rat because it is so cute and it's so nicely done. Keychain. Are you guys gonna use this as your keychain? It's gonna be a little... Um, I mean, it's cute, but still a little creepy, right? I mean, if you're using a little rat as a keychain. Okay, but yep, that's um, the eight different figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight new figures which I've purchased. So, yep, let me know over on my Instagram, you know, which figure is the one you like the most, okay? And I will see you guys really soon in the next video. This weekend, okay? Stay tuned. Goodbye.